friends good morning in our last video in clocks we discuss how to find the angle between the hands of a clock at a given particular time right today we find the time when angle is given that at that particular angle what could be the time the problem is this at what time between 5 and 6 the angle between the hands is 90 degrees at what time between 5 and 6 so the time is between 5 and 6 and the angle between the hands must be 90 degrees so at that angle what is the time see at 5 o'clock at 5 o'clock what is the angle between the hands we know that 530 is 150 degrees at 5 o'clock the angle between the hands is 150 degrees how much we want we want 6 90 degrees we want 90 degrees the angle must be 90 degrees so 150 minus 90 60 degrees angle must be reduced 60 degrees angle must be reduced from 150 So, 500 degrees angle is reduced in one minute. 500 degrees angle. 500 means 11 by 2. 11 by 2 degrees angle is reduced in one minute. So, 60 degrees angle is reduced in how many minutes? 60 by 11 by 2. 60 by 11 by 2 means 60 into 2 by 11. That is what I did here. So, at 5 o'clock the angle is 150 degrees. Sir. we want the angle should be 90 degrees so 60 degrees angle must be reduced so that 90 degrees angle will be remain 60 into 2 by 11 120 by 11 10 10 by 11 so 5 hours 10 10, 10 by 11 minutes at this time 5 10 10, 10 by 11 minutes at this time the angle between the hands will be exactly 90 degrees let us consider one more example see 5 10 10 by 11 means here roughly roughly this and our hand will come to slightly here so the angle will be 90 degrees see again again the second time the second time the minute hand minute hand rotates 150 plus 90 150 plus 90 If the minute hand rotates 150 plus 90, again there is possibility of getting angle 90 degrees between the hands. Let us consider that case also. So the minute hand must rotate 150 plus 90 this time 240, 240 into 2 by 11, 480 by 11, 43 7 by 11. So again at 5 hours 43 7 by 11 minutes, the angle. Between the hands will be 90 degrees. So, friends, you have to do like this. Between 5 and 6 minutes, at 5 o'clock, the angle is 150. You have to do 150 minus 90 into 2 by 11. In the second case, you have to do 150 plus 90, 240, 240 into 2 by 11. So, you get the second term. So, between 5 and 6, between 5 and 6. at two times two times two times the angle between the hands will be 90 degrees the first one is at 5 hours 10 10 by 11 minutes and the second time at 5 43 7 by 11 at these two timings the angle between the hands is 90 degrees okay nice next nice. let us see some miscellaneous problems in clock chapter okay see now let us see some miscellaneous problems Like, how many times the hands are coincident in a day? The position of hands at twelve o'clock is called coincident. This is coincident. Hands are coinciding at twelve o'clock. How many times? How many times this position happens in a clock in a day? See, in every one minute. with only one exception 
in every one hour hands will coincide in one hour gap in every one hour gap hands will coincide so total 12 hours total 12 hours but uh, what is the some small limitation is between 11 and 12 hands will not coincide between 12 and 1 hands will not coincide so in the remaining 10 gaps hands will coincide remaining 10 gaps 10 times plus at 12 o'clock one time 10 plus 1 11 so 11 day time 11 night time 11 11 plus 11 no 22 times so hands will coincide in a day so how many times the hands of a clock coincide in a day that is 22 times next coming to the second point the position of hands at 6 o'clock is called straight line position how many times the hands of a clock come to a straight line position this is also same way in every one hour in every one hour hands will come to this position in every one hour gap hands will come to this position but some small limitation is there between 5 and 6 hands will not come to this position in the same way between 6 and 7 hands will not come to this position in the remaining 10 gaps 10 times plus uh, at 6 o'clock one time 10 plus 11 Day time eleven, night time eleven, eleven plus eleven, no, twenty-two times, twenty-two times. So hands will come to a straight line position. Okay. Next, the third point. Third point. The position of hands at three o'clock is a perpendicular position. The hands will be perpendicular at three o'clock. Three thirty is right. So how many times? How many times the hands of a clock? Will come to a perpendicular position in a day. How many times the hands of a clock will come to a perpendicular position in a day? See, in the above four gaps, in the above four gaps, and in the below four gaps, the hands will come to a perpendicular position two times. So, in the above four gaps and in the below four gaps. The hands will come to a perpendicular position two times, but between uh, two and three hands will come to a perpendicular position only once. At three o'clock, hands will be perpendicular, and between three and four also the hands come to a perpendicular position only once. In the same way, left side between eight and nine only once. At nine o'clock again one one time. Between nine and ten, uh, one. So four to eight, four to eight, eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus three plus three, six. Sixteen plus six, twenty-two. Twenty-two plus twenty-two, forty-four times. Forty-four times in a day, the hands will come to a perpendicular position in a clock. Okay, these three things I have to remember. Important points. Next, let us see mirror image. Mirror image. See, in mirror, what happens? We know left and right interchanges. Left and right interchanges. So, so if the time, if the time is, if the time is one o'clock, it appears as eleven o'clock. If the time is, actual time is two o'clock. In mirror, it appears as ten o'clock. If actual time is three o'clock, it appears as nine o'clock in the mirror. If actual time is four, it appears as eight o'clock in the mirror. If the actual time is five, it appears as seven o'clock in the mirror. So, if the actual time is given, if the actual time is x hours, the actual time is x hours, then we have to do twelve minus x, twelve minus x to get the time in the mirror. So, actual time is three. Twelve minus three, nine is the mirror time. The actual time is four. Twelve minus four, eight is the mirror time. 
So, if the actual time is uh, x sub s, if the actual time is, if the actual time is, if the actual time is x sub s, x sub s, then middle time or image time, middle time or image time is 12 minus x sub s, 12 minus x sub s. So, if minutes is also given, then also we have to follow the same rule. See, I should consider one example. If the actual time is, the actual time is 2.30. If the actual time is 2.30, what is the middle time? What is the middle time? 12 minus 2.30, 12 minus 2.30, that is equal to 9.30, 9.30. This is the middle time, middle time. So, the same rule should be followed. If the middle time is given, and actual time is to be found, then also we have to follow the same rule. Okay, so 12 minus 6, 12 minus 6, fine, fine. Okay, thank you friends.